Grace is a victim of rape, a crime which occurs thousands of times every day in the United States. Hello, I've called the advocate and the saying they are on their way now. Thank you. A medical examination is recommended if the assault occurred in the last five days. The purpose of the exam is to assess and treat injuries, decrease the risk of sexually transmitted infections and pregnancy, provide counseling information, and obtain legal evidence. Hi, Grace. My name is Minu, and I'm the advocate from the Crisis Center. As an advocate, I provide victims with information, hopefully preparing them for what to expect as we go through the process. So thank you for coming in today, Grace. I'm giving them the lay of the land, and I'm there to support them through the process. I help answer questions, and basically I'm there to be a solid support for them. As an advocate, I see victims from all walks of life. I see victims from varying socioeconomic statuses. I see victims from different races and ethnicities. They come from different religious backgrounds. I see men, women, transgendered people. I see people who identify as straight, gay, lesbian, or bisexual. Um, I also see patients who work for the sex industry. It's really important to remember that our victims are coming to us for support and it's our job to be there for them without passing judgment about the decisions that they've made. Throughout the process, I emphasize empowerment of the victim. Whenever possible, I offer them choices, I allow them to make their own decisions and direct their care as appropriate. I also think respect is very important. A couple of key things that I emphasize when trying to think about respect is um, not touching a victim without their permission, and whenever possible, avoiding intrusive questions. And if you do have to ask an intrusive question, giving as much forewarning as possible. In order to have the medical exam, we do need you to sign this consent for care. So read it over, feel free to ask me any questions, and if you agree, sign it. Anyone who interacts with a victim may encounter issues that might differ from their own values or what they are used to. Exploring those feelings before being confronted with them is very important. Hi, Grace. My name is Johanna, and I'm the nurse that will be taking care of you today. I'm going to start out by asking you a few questions, and then I'll do your exam and the evidence collection, okay? If at any point in time you feel uncomfortable or you want to stop, just let me know, and we can do that, okay? Okay. You're in charge today. Okay. Okay. SANE stands for Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner. And sexual assault nurse examiners are nurses who have specialized training and expertise in the care of patients who have experienced sexual assault. So what are you able to tell me about what happened? What do you remember? So the role of the SANE is to provide medical care to the patient after she or he comes in after sexual assault. And that means that we do a comprehensive physical assessment of the patient to determine whether any injury is present. Well, first he like started kissing me and then got a little kind of like rough and then was kind of pushing me and knocking around and then he just did it, I guess. And when you say he did it, do you mean that he put his penis in your vagina? Mm-hmm, yeah. And did he put his penis in your bottom? Mm -hmm. Or in your mouth? No, no. Okay, all right. Um, did he put his mouth anywhere on your body? Uh, yeah, on my neck. On any other part of your body? No. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sure it wasn't easy. Um, I'm ready to get started with the exam. Is that okay with you? Mm-hmm. We document any injury that we see, both in writing and in photographs, if that's okay with the patient. Okay, and then one last that's a little bit closer. We also do our evidence collection process. So you can just open wide for me. This might tickle. It's our DNA evidence collection. So I'll just have you relax your knee a bit, and then you'll feel my hand here touching on the inside of your leg if the patient has consented to that and wants that. During exams, I have seen some pretty significant injuries that are difficult to see. It's important for me to prepare myself ahead of time for the possible injuries that I may be viewing. During my time with the patient, I need to be 100% available to them rather than 
trying to manage my own emotional state. Even though examination procedures may vary at each facility, the exam and collection may include the following. Collection of patient clothing, blood and urine, photographing of injuries, swabbing of victim's body, pubic hair combing, and a general pelvic exam. So Grace, I have some clothing here that you can change into, and while you're doing that, I'll go talk with the doctor. Okay. Oftentimes when victims come in, they're traumatized. They may be confused and overwhelmed by what's happened to them or what they're going through. It's very important for me to remain calm, to be a reassuring presence, to be knowledgeable and able to explain to them what to expect. Grace, I spoke with a physician and I have some medications for you that will prevent sexually transmitted infection and in pregnancy. Do you have any questions about these medications before you take them? It can be a really difficult position to be in, but I'm so happy to be able to help. Thank you for coming in today, Grace. I wanted to give you this Crime Victims Compensation Brochure. It's uh, related Sexual to assault patients. examiners are available in hospitals across the state of Washington. To find the hospital and advocacy center nearest to you, go to wasafe.org.